For Chainlink, for example, proof of verifiable trust beyond interoperability. And there's always a discussion about interoperability and how we connect systems together. We know, we've been doing that for 50 years at, at Swift. Swift started because domestic payment systems couldn't talk to each other cross-border. It's absolutely essential. You need to, it needs to be based on standards. It needs to have a rule book. It needs to be done in a trusted way that can be, that can be verified. So, so it's not that interoperability is not going to be important, but we're moving beyond that. We're moving into kind of important proofs about not only how the, the, how the tokens move on the networks, but you know, can we verify the truth that they actually happened? Do we have the audit trail for that? Um, Chainlink has been kind of quietly building that foundation for some time now. We've been actively working them, with them on a number of different things. I mean, you've seen announcements that, that have come out, but they've been building these foundations. I think they're important foundations. Um, I think about like CRE, for example. We're bringing verified real-world data and even regulatory proofs on change. This is how you're going to show how institutions can implement trust, um, not, not only for themselves, but, but, but for the world. And I, and I would argue, as you move to open public infrastructure, that openness and the right amount of transparency actually builds more trust in the system. And that's what we need. We need more trust in the system as we leverage these, as we leverage these, these innovations. 